Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Eddie. So for today's video is the latest arrival protocols for Filipinos, Balikbayans, foreign nationals coming from the yellow list for the period of January 16th until January the 31st of 2022. Details coming right. <laughs> So the IATF has already posted the new updated countries, territories, or jurisdictions for January 16th until January the 31st. So for this video, if you are one of the permitted travelers going to the Philippines, you may want to watch this from the beginning up to the end because there are vital informations on this video that you can use during your travel i will be showing you guys what's the procedure before your departure what's your procedure during your arrival in manila the quarantine procedure the going home procedure the whole nine yards so if you are coming from the yellow list countries this video is for you so before we start yellow list countries or territories or jurisdictions these are countries that are not listed on the red list countries and green list countries so examples of these are the united states of america and i know majority of our subscribers came from the states so this video is for you guys yellow list countries latest arrival protocols to the philippines let's get started for pre-departure checklist, the following is what you need. The following is what you need to prepare. So you need to register with One Health Pass. You need to register three days prior to your departure. Trace app, you need to register with this platform as well. This is also three days prior to departure. 48 hours RT-PCR test. This is a new mandatory testing regulation by the philippine government before it was 72 hours now it is 48 hours negative rt-pcr test you also need the hotel booking for quarantine you have to have a hotel booking confirmation this will be checked during your check-in at the airport and of course the documents i will be specifying these documents that you guys need to prepare for document checklist, as I mentioned earlier, you need your passport. This could be your foreign passport or Philippine passport. The visa, if this applies to you, especially to foreign nationals who are eligible to have the following visas. The 9A visa, 13A visa, and SRRV visa. The authentic marriage certificate, if both of you are traveling or the foreign national is traveling alone married to a filipino national the authentic birth certificate this applies to foreign nationals who have a child or children to a filipino national and of course the vaccination card this is now going to be checked make sure to have that handy in your documents so the vaccination card is very vital because i am going to show you guys when it gets to the bureau of quarantine process that is what you are going to show them and that is going to determine if you are going to do the shorter quarantine which is five days or the longer quarantine for seven days so make sure that you have your vaccination card or vaccination records handy when you are traveling to the philippines next is airport check-in so this is when you guys are headed out to the airport Airport check-in, these are the following that they will ask from you. One Health Pass, this is the registration you did three days prior to your trip. The Trace app as well, you register three days prior to your trip. 48 hours negative RT-PCR test, you have done this 48 hours before your trip. Your visa, if this applies to you. Of course, your passport your vaccination card, and your hotel booking confirmation. So make sure you have all these documents when you check in at the airport. 
I highly suggest or I highly recommend if you guys are registering to a particular platform, just for example, One House Pass and Trace app, when the results are in or when the QR code is generated, get it printed. Print as much as you can because it helps you a lot compared to you are just saving it on your phone. Saving it on your phone is your backup. But having a printout really helps and it comes handy because what if your phone gets low but or you can't have internet access when you get to the Philippines. We all know how the internet service here in the Philippines. So make sure that you have printouts of all the registration that you guys did before departure going to the Philippines. During the flight, you can accomplish the following and prepare the following. Arrival card, this should be filled out. The Bureau of Customs form, this should be filled out as well. This will be distributed by airline staff during your flight or most of the time one hour before you guys land in the Philippines. All your documents, all the documents that you have shown during your check-in at the airport, make sure those are intact because those will be checked again during your arrival process at the airport which comes next to this step for arrival process the following will be checked one health pass this is the qr code that you have generated when you registered like i said get it printed because this will be checked at all times Tray's app, of course, 48 hours RT-PCR test. This should be negative. Visa, if this applies to you, for example, you are a foreign national, you are a foreign spouse of a Filipino national traveling to the Philippines alone because your Filipino wife is already in the Philippines. So a visa applies to you. Of course, your passport, vaccination card, and hotel booking confirmation. So during your arrival at the airport, the Philippine Coast Guard will be briefing you guys on what's going to happen inside the airport. So make sure that you listen, make sure that you follow the instruction because when all your paperwork are complete, when all your documents are intact and handy and you can get to it right away, I can guarantee you guys your process at the airport all the way to your quarantine hotel will be smooth. Next will be the immigration process. So during the immigration process, prepare the Bureau of Customs form, the arrival card that you guys filled out during your flight, your passport, your visa if this applies to you, and the documents that you have with you during this flight. So a little tip, only give the immigration officer what the document is asked don't hand them all your documents because that could get you in trouble sometimes but like i said just hand them what they ask from you if they're only asking for a marriage certificate give them the marriage certificate if it's just the birth certificate then birth certificate if it's just the passport or visa give them the passport or visa so it's better to just follow what they ask don't give them so much if they're not asking for it. The Bureau of Quarantine and Swab Test Payment Process. So for the Bureau of Quarantine, they will check your hotel booking confirmation and vaccination card. So the, the vaccination card, like I mentioned earlier, will determine how many days your quarantine will be. So for example, you are coming from the U.S. and the U.S., is now part of the reciprocal agreement with the philippines so the cdc white card is accepted and if you are fully vaccinated we will tackle that on the quarantine process if you are fully vaccinated you will only be quarantined for a certain period of time but if you are unvaccinated your quarantine will be a bit longer for swab test payment they will need the one health pass where you register three days prior because that is where all the information that you have for your swab test and they will also check your passport for swab test payment you can do it at the airport when you arrive or you can do it at the hotel during your swab test schedule 
So you went through the immigration process, you went through the Bureau of Quarantine process, you have paid for your swab test, now it's time to claim your luggage. So unlike before on the normal travel time or pre-pandemic time, you are getting or you are waiting beside the carousel, waiting for your luggage to come out. This time, all the luggages are properly prepared. All the luggages are already prepared for you to pick up. So it's not as hassle anymore trying to get in there first to get your luggage. You'll be surprised when you get to the luggage area. All the luggages are already lined up for you to pick up. For the quarantine procedure for fully vaccinated coming from the yellow list, your quarantine is five nights, six days booking, swab test on the fifth day. For unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, and to those uh, travelers whose vaccination cannot be verified, you belong to this group, seven nights, eight days booking, your swab test will be on the seventh day. So after your swab test, you can access the result of your swab test through one health pass just click on the swab test icon or track swab test icon and you are able to track your result just enter the qr code the qr code that was given to you when you registered with one health pass and your last name and you should be able to access your result of your swab test so you have went through the quarantine the quarantine days are up you're ready to go home you got your negative RT-PCR test result. It's time for the going home process. For the going home process, they will need your RT-PCR test, the negative RT-PCR test, your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate, which this first two you can access through One Health Pass, then the vaccination card. This is very important because the Philippine government has now mandated or is now implementing the no vaccination, no ride to all public transportation in the Philippines. This includes domestic flights. So you have to be fully vaccinated before you can get into a flight. And of course, the S Pass. Not all LGUs are implementing this. So make sure to coordinate with your LGUs if they needed for you to register with S Pass. So coordinate or have a relative of yours to ask for you if this is needed or not or what are the requirements needed for returning overseas a Filipino to a particular LGU. So that is our latest arrival protocols to the Philippines for Filipinos, Balik Bayans, and foreign nationals coming from the yellow list for the period of January 16th until January the 31st of 2022. So to those with scheduled flights to the Philippines from tomorrow until January the 31st, if your flights are between those dates, this is your latest arrival protocols to the Philippines. And I also want to add, don't forget to bring your face mask bring your sanitizer or alcohol make sure to bring your own ink pen so you're not borrowing from somebody else this is for you to avoid contacts and also bring some money with you and lots of patience because like i've always said in my videos traveling to the philippines is way different from traveling before pre-pandemic time Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page and Instagram, same handle, The Eaton Squad. Again, thank you guys so much for the continued support and trust to our channel, The Eaton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.